Well, today on the show, we have a favorite, Jason Begay. But if you're listening and your ears perk up and you're watching, we're here to talk about something a little bit different this time. Uh, although I do have so many questions about <laughs> the ending of Chicago PD, but I digress. Um, we're here to talk about this fun project that he is part of, which is really, really good. Uh, Reverse the Curse, which is a different departure for him, but a fun film altogether starring David Duchovny and just a really great cast. But Jason, welcome in. It's good to see you again. And thanks for hanging out. Thanks for having me. Well, I a lot of the times that we talk in your interviews with us, you've mentioned about story and writing are important to you directors and things like that because you're yeah. very busy on the chicago side of things but i mean i know things you've done the you know let's talk about gi jane let's start there let's talk about the next three days um, uh -huh. all these other stories that you get to be a part of but i'm interested to know in this one what attracted you to the part uh and made you decide you wanted to commit your time to it as busy as you are working on your NBC side of things? Well, uh, the truth is, uh, David Duchovny is my oldest and perhaps best friend. We've been extremely close for, well, I won't say how many years, but it's a lot. And uh, since we were 14 years old. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Like uh, David came to my school. I'd been there from first grade. He showed up in ninth grade. And uh, the first thing I said to him, it was a very small school. I walked over and I said, hey, what's your name? He said, David, he was kind of shy. And I said, well, my name's Jason. I, you know what? I got a feeling you and I are gonna be friends. And here we are all these years later. And uh, so to answer your question, what drew me to it is David. Uh, you know, he's my, I, 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 I remember, talking to him while he was writing this novel and then reading the novel when he'd finished it. And then, you know, him talking about making it into a script and then doing that and what a beautiful job that was. And then, you know, the, the aggravating and disappointing and exciting moments of trying to get it made. And then it finally fell together. And he said, Hey, I, it just came. I was already shooting my season you know, he said, I'd love you to play a role. I understand it. And I asked the producers because, uh, you know, the answer is yes. For me, with David, it, it'll always be yes. And and it's always a lot of fun. Yeah. Now, when you tell stories like this, I find it so fascinating, especially being semi-adjacent to your world, but envisioning this idea of you guys meeting at such a young age, and then both of you blossoming into well-known actors and having successful careers it's it has to be fun for both of you i would imagine to watch each other have successes you know whether it's him in the x-files you in chicago pd you know all the other things that you've done together um so i imagine is there's a shorthand i would think too when you're working together uh, so to speak, because you guys know each other so well, <laughs> which I think is just a fun thing to hear. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. I mean, uh, I love David. It's a lot of fun. We we laugh a lot still, like little high school boys, and giggle, you know. And uh, but it's also quite intimate. I think we are, you know, we trust each other completely and know each other in a different way than anybody else knows each. Uh, uh, us and you know from childhood obviously and so uh you know i think we both value each other's viewpoints and advice and help and uh yeah it's uh it's a it, it's nice to have somebody you know that you can be that close and intimate with and the fact that he's such an extraordinary human being just in his own right it just makes it all the more interesting i mean because he really is a, an extraordinary and he always was yeah you know? that's so cool well when pd fans 
who really know you, know your work that you've done, and you've done other things. Like we've just mentioned a few. Uh, right. I mean, Californication. I mean, you guys have worked together before. This isn't yeah. like the first time. So, but when, you know, the diehard people for Chicago hear that you're in other projects or meet you, like, I'm interested to know what the response is like, because, you know, it's such a departure from what a good majority of people know you from, but then there's the larger crux of, that know your big body of work that you've done over your years of career. Um, I, you know, I, you know, with no, this thing hasn't come out yet, so I don't know. I just hope a lot of people see it. Yeah. And I'm uh, see it. It's good, I think they'll, yeah, I would it's imagine true. it's due in a couple of days. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think they'll get a kick out of it though. You know, not seeing Voight that way, you know, but it's still, uh, you know, I void is me, you know, and so is uh, Tango Sam, you know, uh, they're just different, different, different sides of me, different ways of expressing myself. Uh, uh, I, I don't yeah, know. It's true. Like when I watch you in different things, like we've spoken several times throughout the years on the NBC side, and yeah. it's been little sections with you and other castmates and once in a while we get you solo for a couple of minutes so that was one of the things i was excited to talk about is just to explore your body work a little bit more but yeah but i do see you and recently i was watching uh the next three days it was leaving netflix and i was watching that uh -huh. and that similarly is void in a it, probably not as an intense sort of way but just definitely different but when you yeah. get to do other projects, I would imagine it's exciting for you to put that, even though that is you, to kind of put that persona aside just a little bit and do other things. Um, does yeah. I would imagine that challenges you too as a storyteller to maybe do something a little bit different that's not so intense uh, all the time. I mean, it's all, I mean, challenging, but it's, I love to act. I, I find it fun and I find it useful actually. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, I, I, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't, and I, you know, if it is difficult or challenging, I, I that, that just all the more interesting, you know, I, I take it if it's easy or hard, it, it's all the same to me. I, I'll, I'll do my best. My best is different on every day, <laughs> you know? Yeah, no, I would imagine it's, you know, having spoken to other actors who've worked with you, I, I imagine it's different. So there's a lot of great messages in this film, um, particularly for me being a, a dad and, and just watching this whole idea behind the story of, um, it's very heartfelt for sure. And there's a lot of things I think, oftentimes we watch some shows you know, just for pure entertainment value because of the adrenaline rush we get <laughs> or yeah. there's stories behind it. But for you, is there like maybe one or two things when people do get a chance to watch this film, Reverse the Curse, uh, that you hope people are able to grasp onto uh, with such a beautiful story that you guys are telling? Well, I guess, I mean, one of the ways that, I mean, this is just me personally. I mean, I hope people get whatever they get out of it. You know, I don't want to put my, everybody's different. And, uh, you know, I think that it's easy to enjoy this. It's easy to be moved by it. Uh, you know, uh, that, that, that it, it's hard not to be uh, yeah. amused by it and moved by it. It has both those things in spades, but, um, uh, I think that, you know, one of the things that's, that's interesting is just that, that that it's not that uncommon for a parent and a child as they grow older to, you know, grow apart and be, uh, there'll be, you know, a lack of what seems to be a lack of intimacy. Mm -hmm. And, um, and the way that they come together, I think is that they rediscover the truth. And so that no matter how much, you know, I hate my father or whatever, 
uh, somebody may be experiencing, it, I, I suspect that it's almost invariably not the truth. It's just yeah. what they're experiencing. And that, you know, if you're interested in getting to the truth, it's probably that you adore him. Yeah. Wow. That's, <laughs> that's deep. No, I appreciate that. And I think that if anything else, you know, people will get that message. Well, the summer's here, you're done filming your other show. How, how do, how does Jason unwind for the summer? Or are you always working on the next thing uh, for the next season? Which by the way, you left us on one hell of a cliffhanger uh, <laughs> I would be remiss if I didn't mention that at the end here. It was intense. Uh, yeah. I got to work with an old friend and coworker, Elias. Wow. It was really cool. Yeah. Um, I did not see that coming. Yeah. Um, and normally I get screeners before they come out, but this one they held back for us because it was a big one. So do you get to enjoy your summer and unwind a little bit and experience the release of this new film, Reverse the Curse? Yeah, I... Uh... You know, normally I, I travel a lot, um, okay. but this year I uh, I really, I have just, I'm lucky. There's a thing I, I don't get bored. Most people get bored, but I, 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 it, it, I rarely get bored. So I've been uh, happy just uh, spending time with my kids and, uh, and, and basically doing absolutely nothing. Enjoying those hot Chicago summers. <laughs> it's actually just... the weather's been so beautiful. Oh, that's yeah. good. You haven't yeah. gotten. Yeah, I go back to work yet. in a month. I'll be oh, shooting. Oh wow! In... So you're back like soon. I lived yeah. in in uh, Elmhurst and Bensonville for a very long time. Okay. Uh, so I'm familiar with the warm summers. But one last question. Yeah. Again, this is a great film, but looking back at the body of your career, I always like to ask: Is there any character, if given the chance, that you would go back and retell more story or revisit, or is it for you a case of once you tell a story in a film or a television series, you're good with what's been told. And, you know, there's not anything that you would want to do. Maybe Tango Sam, I don't know, just another character that you've played in your career uh, that you would want to continue on, or are you just good with where everything's at and how it's ended? I, you know the funny thing is the answer is both. Um, okay. I, I, uh, all of them, I'm happy with. I'm not satisfied. Um, I do feel that. You know they, I I kind of like I, 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 a lot of times like I'll I'll say something that I've said to a lot of actors, even people that are regulars on my show. Uh, Let's say we're doing a scene and uh, and it's a good scene. So you really want to kind of rip off a piece of bread and get all the gravy off the plate. Yeah. And 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 we'll be doing the scene and they'll want another take, you know, and they, they did it great. Right. But they, they want to they feel like they want to nail is the kind of thing. Right. And I say I, I say to them, I don't ever want to nail it because it stays alive if you have, there's a little ellipsis. So yeah. the best things that I've done, you know, I still work on them in my mind. So really? they're still alive to me. Yeah, I like, I think about them, but you know, the things that weren't as good, you know, that I weren't, wasn't as, as you know, they're kind of just gone. But the things, you know, it, and it's a scene. It's, uh, you know, there, there's, there, so all of them, you know, if I did it correctly, they're all still a little bit alive. Yeah, well, maybe like if your character in the next three days actually found the button. Every time I watch that, the end of yeah. that film, I'm like, dang it, it was so close. And you, I can't remember her name, the actress, uh, but you Elizabeth that, Banks. Yeah, that final scene where you're digging around the storm grate. Yeah. And finger just barely swipes by and misses it. It's like, ah, it was so ah. close. Yeah. But, I think that's what makes that film so good is because you just kind of wonder, which I think all your work is great. This is a great film. Congratulations, my friend. It's always a pleasure to chat with you. So and nice. uh, I can't wait for people to watch it. And I think they're going to love it. I yeah, really do. I think so too. It's so good. 
Yeah. Um, and of course, enjoy what time off left you have with your family. And uh, yeah. we're excited to see what journeys uh, you take us on uh, next season for PD. And that I'm sure I'll be drive. talking to you. Oh, yeah, I'm sure we will. Well, thank you, Jason. It's always an honor. And I appreciate your time as always, my friend. Thank you so much. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your week.